Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, it, it just keeps getting sadder and sadder. Well, as y'all remember, the five-year-old girl fell from an open window when they said her grandfather lifted her up to sit her on the railing and there was an open window. Uh, she had asked to get up on the window and bang on the glass like apparently she used to do with the hockey game when she watched her brothers. Uh, people were wondering a couple things, why he would put her up there with the window open, how, why was there a window open, all kinds of things, but we had to wait and see until the San Juan uh, Police Department did their full investigation. Well, apparently they've decided now that they've placed the grandfather in custody. And he will appear in court, I believe, on the 20th of November. Uh, he's in on $80,000 worth of bond. They're uh, charging with homicidal negligence in causing the death. Um, and uh, it's, it's just this whole story is sad. If you remember, quickly afterwards, the original story was the grandfather had her slip out of the arms with the original reports of all the news media and things. And then it turned out that no, he sat her on the railing. Uh, why was there a window open? And now after all the investigation, they came out, they went on, you know, TV for interviews, the parents, and they were saying that, you know, it's Royal Caribbean's fault for having the window open and uh, the grandfather didn't drop her. And it appears that that could be the case. It could be the case. The grandfather didn't drop her, but he did place her there. And that's why they're charging him with negligence. This does not mean that Royal Caribbean is off the hook for any kind of negligence on their port part as well. But the police department felt it was evident enough that it was complete careless misconduct by the grandfather to lay charges in this case. So again, we won't really know now until about November 20th when more news comes out and the grandfather appears in court, but it does seem to turn the story more in one direction than the other once police have laid charges because of the evidence that they found. Uh, I, again, I, I have all the sympathy in the world for this family. This is one of the most horrific stories that I've ever had to cover about a cruise ship or a fatality or a passing away on a cruise ship. Uh, imagine you go on vacation with your young child and your father this happens, you know what I mean? Like, how do you look at your father? Now your father's in court being charged. Your miss, your little girl's gone. If there's, there's somebody to blame, but you don't want to blame your father. You don't want to blame family. You want to believe that it's somebody else's fault. I completely understand anything that they might come up with or say, or you can't blame the family. But uh, as I said, it does kind of look now that the police are leaning towards one direction. Unless we hear in the next couple days that Royal Caribbean has also been charged with negligence, then that's a different story. Well, that's also harder to do because you'd have to charge the whole cruise line. You can't just charge one person, for instance. And even if you found the person through closed circuit TV who opened the window, if it's policy to open the window, then you can't charge that person. They're just following procedures at their job. So it's a whole, a whole thing. And it, like I said, I knew this story was eventually going to come out. And now we do have it. The investigation has concluded. It's been handed off to the authorities, the prosecuting attorneys, and they've thought it enough evidence and enough warrant to charge the grandfather. Let me know what you guys think down below. No matter what, it's a very, very sad story. I hope you appreciate the update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time. 
Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.